Hi guys, in this English lesson for daily stand-ups, I want to talk about the question, what is your biggest priority for today? Okay, the first thing is that we say big, bigger, biggest. It's my biggest priority, not the more big, the bigger, not there, the biggest. The pronunciation, okay, so pri or a uh, t four syllables in priority right syllable pri or a uh. syllable three is weak a uh. pri or a uh, t and this is the second syllable is strong priority okay my biggest priority so different expressions to describe your biggest priority you can say my biggest priority is my top priority for today is the most important thing on my list today is or my primary focus for today is or today my main goal is to okay the first expression we can use to talk about your biggest priority is to improve a feature so maybe you want to improve the user authentication and authorization, data visualization, search functionality, who knows. For example, my biggest priority for today is to improve the user authentication and authorization feature to ensure that our user's data is secure and that access is granted only to those who are authorized. The most important thing on my list today is to improve the data visualization feature to ensure that our users can quickly and easily understand the data they are viewing. My biggest priority for today is to improve the search functionality feature to ensure that our users can quickly find the information they need. Now, we have a number of different ways to say improve a feature. We have a lot of different verbs. For example, to improve a feature, you can also say to enhance a feature, to upgrade a feature, to refine a feature, to optimize a feature, and to polish a feature. The next expression is to address bugs and issues. So when we have this verb to address, it talks about to handle, to see, and resolve problems in the software. But the first syllable is not a dress, but a dress. To address bugs and issues. Not a dress, but a dress. For example, my biggest priority is to address bugs and issues that have been reported by users and fix them as quickly as possible. The most important thing on my list today is to address and resolve the critical bug that has been impacting the performance of our software. Today, my main goal is to address the reported bugs and issues, then begin work on resolving them one by one. The next expression is to review and merge code. This is the idea of to verify, to check and incorporate changes made by other team members into the code base, where you need to review it and merge. Now, the important thing is about in the past tense, I review, okay, and past pronunciations, I reviewed, reviewed. And the next one is I merge. So you can hear the j, j at the end, merge merge the code and you take this G, G, okay and then it becomes merged so you have merge G, G, and then the d sound i merged the code and you also see this a lot in the passive voice as the code was merged or the code was merged successfully for example, my biggest priority is to review and merge the code changes that were submitted by the development team to ensure that they have been merged successfully. My primary focus for today is to review and merge the code changes that were submitted by the development team to ensure that they are in line with the project requirements and standards. My biggest priority for today is to check that the code has been reviewed and merged correctly and that there are no conflicts or issues with the latest updates. The next expression we can use to answer the question, what is your number one priority, is to catch up on. To catch up on emails, 
to catch up on tasks. To catch up means to finish all the work you missed so that you are not behind and late. It's like you have extra work or maybe work from yesterday that was not completed that you need to complete. Or for example, you have 15 emails that you did not answer and now you need to catch up on the emails. So you can say to catch up on emails and tasks. And the past of catch is caught, caught. I know you can see C-A-U-G-H-T, but the pronunciation is caught. And another very common expression is to get caught up on. To get caught up on tasks, to get caught up on emails. This means, again, to finish all the work that you need to do so that you are up to date and not behind anymore. My top priority for today is to catch up on my emails and tasks that have accumulated over the past few days and respond to any urgent requests or inquiries. The primary focus for me today is to prioritize my tasks and make sure that I get caught up on the most critical ones first while delegating any non-essential tasks to other team members. Today, my main goal is to organize my inbox and task list and create a plan to catch up on my workload. Next expression is to research and learn about something. The idea to invest time in learning and exploring new techniques or technologies. As you know, IT is an industry that moves very, very quickly. So research is a big part of the job. For example, my biggest priority is to invest time in learning and researching the new technology stack that we will be using in our upcoming project to ensure that I am up to speed and ready to contribute to the team. The most important thing on my list today is to attend a training session on the new tool we will be using to learn and research how to use it effectively. Today, my main goal is to research and experiment with the new technology stack and share my findings with the rest of the team to help them get up to speed as well. Okay guys, that ends this video on what is today's number one priority. I hope you are now ready to answer this question in your next daily standup. Take a second to click like, it really helps me grow on YouTube. I want to connect and help as many IT professionals as I can. Please help me in this very humble mission. Please subscribe and click the bell if you like the channel. And as always, share this video with a friend who is preparing for daily stand-up English. Thanks for watching, I'll see you in the next one.